As I sit here trying to find the words to describe just what this series means to me, I constantly think back to when I first sat down to play the start of this amazing trilogy and how it brought some of my gaming life's best moments. Over the 30 plus years that I've been gaming, the Mass Effect trilogy is right at the top of only a handful of games that I consider my greatest of all time. More than just games, they are art. From the universe created to the music, characters, storytelling, and the writing which makes all these components gel so well, I can't help but have such fond memories of this series. What Bioware created with this trilogy was nothing short of amazing. Mass Effect was the game that showed me what modern games could be, and it was a franchise that showed many people that games had most definitely grown up. Mass Effect was a game series that began in 2007, but for this gamer, Mass Effect was a game that reignited my love of gaming when I finally played it in 2013. I had the chance to play the trilogy one after the other, and gaming was forever changed for me. Here I talk about the Mass Effect trilogy, but one last thing before we start. Yes, the Mass Effect 3 ending was disappointing, but when I think of this trilogy, I think of the amazing journey I had discovering the locations, meeting the characters, and being a part of this beautiful and fantastic series and universe. These are what I remember most. Just like being on a great road trip only to discover the destination may not be what you were after, it still doesn't change that great road trip you had. I present to you why I rank the Mass Effect trilogy as one of the greatest game franchises of all time and why these are more than just video games for me. These are examples of why I love gaming so much. When I played Mass Effect for the very first time back in 2013, I knew that it was very popular and it was said to have a story that was both interesting and very well written. But the game also had several technical issues that gave the game blemishes which dampened some people's interest and enjoyment of the game. As I loaded up the game and created my Shepard for the first time, I was already very interested in what the game had already presented me, but once in the game, I could see the flaws which were already making themselves known. The frame rate was choppy and very inconsistent, and character movement felt a little awkward and stiff, like I was moving my character through mud. But being a science fiction fan, I looked past these flaws as the world and the universe which was being shown to me seemed, well, amazing. And by amazing, I mean this was rivaling the mighty Star Wars for this fan and gamer. It is a testament to what Bioware could create, and beyond that, the stories and characters they came up with to bring this world to life. The writing for this trilogy, apart from the Mass Effect 3 ending, was nothing short of spectacular and immediately drew me into the world. From the moment I stepped foot on the Citadel space station and looked out into the distance at the design of the station and how creative it was, a place for all the races in the universe to come together, just knowing that this place was going to become so important in the overarching story and world of Mass Effect. Even at this very early stage in the game, I was already hooked. When I landed on Eden Prime for the first time and did the first mission, the game just sucked me right in. In most games for me, it is often the gameplay first that will be the catalyst for me enjoying the game. But with Mass Effect, whilst the gameplay is fun but rough, again, it is the world that was created that made me want to keep playing this game. As the hours went by, more and more of the characters that were introduced started to flesh out the world more. And the true beauty of Mass Effect as a trilogy began to shine through. I was late to the party in playing the first game, but it showed just how great storytelling could be in a science fiction game or in any game. 
Once I played through the first installment and completed the story, I was blown away. This game, despite its technical issues, questionable Mako driving mechanics, underwhelming side missions, and mostly empty planets, had reserved a special place in my own gaming history. It had struck a chord with me so much that RPGs and storytelling in games were now going to be judged against Mass Effect. Even more so than another fantastic story in Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Could another game meet or even exceed Mass Effect's brilliance for me? Could another game live up to the impossible expectations that I had set out to experience again? When Bioware set out to create a sequel, I wouldn't have dreamed that it would be better than the first game in many aspects and add a layer of polish that the series truly deserved. Mass Effect 2 was the Aliens or Godfather Part 2 of the video game world. It would gain mostly universal praise from gamers and critics and it will do the impossible for me. It would return me to the universe I loved with much smoother, more enjoyable gameplay and focus even more on story and characters, doing away with the unnecessary busy work and give it more of a focus which the series needed. The introduction of the paramilitary organization called Cerberus, along with the inclusion of its leader, the Elusive Man, were fantastic additions to the game and the series and the writing, especially with so many additional characters, writing them all so well and making them fit into the overall story and making it work is an incredible feat to accomplish. Bioware weren't simply content to develop a sequel that was a carbon copy of the first game and both gamers and critics responded overwhelmingly positive to this. The RPG mechanics may have been simplified but the more focused storytelling and much tighter combat made sure the greatest achievements from the first game, mainly the writing, storytelling and characters, were brought over to the sequel intact and everything that didn't work as well was retooled. Combat was much improved, the Mako driving sections were gone and the empty, excessive worlds were now relegated to simply mining them from space. Mass Effect 2 was a game that brought all the best parts of the Mass Effect trilogy into one game and would be the pinnacle of the series for me. The choices I made, I remembered long after the game had finished and the credits rolled. Mass Effect 2 was a game I thought about after I had finished which doesn't happen too often, but when a game does so many things right, makes the player feel so many real emotions, makes us question our actions to these characters we have gotten to know so well, this is the point where Mass Effect 2 ceases to be just a game, it becomes art. The medium of video games is made up of what we see, what we hear, and what we get to take part in and experience by controlling these characters and having our actions matter in these worlds. We aren't mere passive watchers of what is playing out like a movie or TV show. This game pulled me in and didn't let go until long after it was over. When I began the third game, I hadn't read or watched anything about the game. I didn't want to spoil what was in store for me with the third installment of this amazing franchise. Once I had finished, I of course read other people's opinions and the disappointment so many had with the original ending. I understood their points of view, and up to a point I agreed with them. But for this gamer, the series had already far exceeded any expectations I had of it when I first sat down to play the first game. The ending left the series with a slight empty feeling when we all expected this huge payoff at the end, which would see the trilogy finish with a bang, but it didn't. And regardless of what DLC or what would come after it, no one could eradicate the feeling of experiencing the original ending for the first time. But for me, 
This feeling did not last long. There were too many characters, memorable scenes and situations I had already experienced. This average at best ending cannot take away what had come previously for me. But just how the ending of Mass Effect 3 was what it was, so were all those amazing moments that had come before. The ending wasn't going to be made better from what had come previously. And what had come previously could not be made worse by the ending for me. This trilogy was, is, and always will be an incredible accomplishment by the developers and writers and an incredible series of games for myself. These were the type of games that made the Bioware name and why many, myself included, long for those days again when we see what has happened to them in recent years. When I suggested that a great road trip is not made worse by the letdown of the final destination, I meant it. I have replayed the Mass Effect series knowing what awaited me at the end, but this time I took a different way on this road trip and it was just as fun, amazing and memorable as the last was and nothing can take that away from me.